are the patterns we see in nature, in the universe, including those locked in our own subconscious minds. Are they manifestations of a deeper underlying order? Are the things that we think of as luck, coincidence, or synchronicitous really just the work of the universal mind, connected in a myriad of ways that our feeble little human brains can't even grasp? Fractals are also a part of chaos theory, and chaos theory explores the transitions which are often very uh, unexpected and surprising between order and disorder. Chaos theory looks at that sensitive dependence on initial conditions, which is a fancy way of saying the butterfly effect. You know, that idea that a really small, tiny little thing, like a butterfly flapping its wings, can affect a much, much bigger thing like a weather pattern or a weather system. So small, tiny changes in the starting point of a chaotic system can lead to huge results. And chaos theory also deals with the underlying order concept. The idea that there is order within disorder. And that even though sometimes things just seem really random, there are systems underlying them and patterns underlying things that seem really crazy, out of control, or chaotic. Things like weather patterns, or the ups and downs of the stock market, or population growth or even the states of our own brains. It's about the infinite patterns and complexities of nature as well. So you see how chaos theory ties in with fractals in a big way. And I personally believe that while we are here having our earthly experience, we are separated from the universal mind in this body that we're roaming around the planet in. I do believe in reincarnation. I believe we and we come many times to learn lessons and to have these chances to develop here on our own when we are disconnected. Do we realize that we're part of this great universal mind? Do we realize that the person we think we are is really meaningless? A, lo a lot of this work that Carl Jung was doing was a break working on breaking down your ego. and. I think it's important for us to realize that if this is one of many lifetimes you've lived, the important thing is the you, the real you that's underneath the culmination of all the lives you've led, whether you're a young soul or an old soul. We're here to learn our lessons, to help the universe pay karmic debt and maintain balance.